Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the 50 50 challenge, where we're just kind of continuing, even though the challenge, uh, we kind of lost two dupes a while ago, but we're continuing on with this base. Uh, I won't be releasing episodes as often as I was before, maybe two a week. I've been playing a lot of uh, Fallout 4 recently and other games, and I want to keep, uh, keep the variety up on the channel. So, Oxygen Not Included will be coming out. I will be extending this base, but uh, maybe not all at once. Now, I talked about using this Somnium synthesizer last time, but I didn't really do anything with it because I got sidetracked with other projects. We're going to keep getting pajamas out of here, and we're going to keep putting them on dupes. Uh, we've got 10 dream, dream journals so far. We're going to try to get more of those as things goes on. We have to activate it first. That takes 25, and then once it's activated, we start to get the uh, the bonus, the colony bonus. We're gonna have to have some dedicated dreamers. Now the suit that they wear, it slows them down quite a bit, or it used to. Let's just see if it still does. I guess we could click on it as well. Let's see, are they gonna run really slow? Oh, t oh they're getting it out of the closet. Aaron's coming to get the suit. Maybe Aaron wasn't the best idea for the dream dupe. Let's see. Aaron, are you going to be super slow in that thing? Yeah, I think that slows him down. <laughs> Let's see here. Wearing pajamas, athletics minus eight. Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty slow. We're, all, we're all on slow speed, so it looks really slow. Anyway, this episode, I want to get uh, I want to get an exosuit dock set up. We started metal refining last time. Where was I doing that? Right here. We're heating up this water. But then we're destroying the water over here when we make oxygen, so it's not going to be a permanent issue, I don't think. This area might get a little bit toasty here. But I'm going to do an exosuit dock bay through here, I think. So the idea here will be to block this off. And then force them to come through here, and then we'll have a little ladder down, plus fire pole. And then a floor. This is usually how I do it. I do like a little switchback. This is going to be a long switchback because we got 50 dupes, and we want uh, we want the dupes to be wearing suits uh, when we go down here because it's going to be it's going to get really hot down here eventually, and we're going to do all our industry down here. So it seems like a good place to do it. Uh, let's get this ready, and we'll build a floor here as well. We'll get rid of some of these uh, old tiles. And I think I'll extend this over here. Let's use granite. Granite's a little bit nicer looking. This is where the disaster happened. This is where uh, Adam and Danny uh, had, uh, met their demise. Down here somewhere, they were doing some digging in the ice and I wasn't paying attention to them and they got stuck. As they do. That's what dupes are good at. So yeah, I'll switch them back through here. And let's think about where the the checkpoint is going to go right over here somewhere. I think I can start safely digging this and removing this. How are we doing for food? We got 310,000 food, so food is good. Critter starvation. The Dreco is starving. He should have lots of meal wood to eat. These are set to not harvest, right? Mm, some of them are. Okay, let's just set them all to not harvest. This will be to get dedicated mealwood for them. And we got a uh, glossy drecklet. That's good. We need a shearing station here in, in, as well, I just realized. So we'll take this out and we'll put a shearing station in there. Temperature in the base is uh, good in the growing area. Decent here. It's getting a little warmer here with all this... Um, power generation, but over here it's getting a little bit toasty in this column. We got 50 degrees. Uh, what I could do what I could do is remove the abyssalite layer here and let the heat kind of seep that way. That's an idea. Uh, eventually I'll want to do a liquid cooling loop. The other thing I want to get started this episode is the material studies terminal. I'm not going to do it here, I'm going to do it somewhere else. Um, 
We need a source of rad bolts for that. And I'm thinking of using Weezworts. Maybe just one to begin with. We could just do it over here, but I think I'm going to set up a dedicated spot for it. Uh, we're going to keep clicking this thing to get pajamas out. And we're going to keep adding dupes to pajamas. I'm going to set uh, maybe the ranchers. They don't have to move around as much. We'll stick them on there. How are we doing for dream journals? We're still at 10 only. Okay. Well, I've been going slow speed. That's probably why. We'll speed it up a bit. Uh, we got a brain thing here we could use. I'll save that for later. We got something on the printer. Uh, let's check that out. Copper, we'll take it. We're not taking on any more dupes. 50 is enough. 50 causes quite a bit of lag as you get into the later game. And I still haven't installed the uh, fast save mod. I have to do that. Because uh, saves are getting slower and slower. Let's put some airflow in here. Do I want airflow here? Yes, I do. I want the CO2 to go down. Okay, uh, we got people sick. Slime lung. I think the slime lung is slowly getting eradicated, though. And we've switched... We've traded slime lung for floral scent, which uh, the allergic dupes are not enjoying. They don't like that at all, but uh, it's better than slime lung, I think. Okay, let's go full speed. This dig is going to take a little while otherwise. So the... let's take this out. The... where do, we, where do I want to do the... Uh, let's keep the airflow going here. I'm going to have to build underneath here some airflow so the CO2 keeps falling down. Or we could seal the base. I think I'm going to leave an open base for now, though. Okay, so the uh, checkpoint. Let's see here. The exosuit uh, dock checkpoint. We're going to put it right here. Uh, yeah, should be okay to put it here for now. And then we're going to do docks. I'll just do a few to start here. Because I am running out of... Tier. Actually, i got quite a, quite a bit of refined metal now. So we can probably do a few more than I was thinking. We'll use copper. Now we're going to use dedicated hot oxygen for this. Uh, this is kind of cool oxygen here. Uh, and this is cool, kind of cool. Yeah, We'll just use one of these lines. Now I do like to kind of spider them out a little bit. Some people just load them, load the oxygen backwards through all the suits. Uh, but that way you're kind of wasting oxygen. Like you don't need a full suit to get them working. Starvation. So I might do something like this. To begin with kind of a somewhat even split. Uh, now this needs power. We're kind of going to have to build a dedicated little circuit for this, I think. Maybe right down here. There's oxygen down here, so we should be safe. Maybe two wheels and maybe three wheels. That's overkill. And a, batter and a battery. And some wire. Let's do the regular old wire. Something like that. Now they run faster with lights above them, so I might put some lights above their heads at some point. Okay, and we need suits. I think we need to make a bunch of suits as well. We'll deliver what we can. I haven't even thought about going to another planet yet. We could go through the... There is a gate somewhere we can go through. I haven't really thought about that yet. Now, actually, we need to seal off... Um, we'll need to seal off this area here or bad things will happen. That was actually a really bad place for these because... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite think that through because I don't want them coming through here anymore. So we'll redo this up here. 
and we'll just undo. Do that instead. Clean up our wires. Always try to clean up the wires. Keep things tidy. <clears throat> yeah, I don't want them coming through here uh, anymore without a suit on. So we'll start sealing this up. I'll use airflow. Actually, what am I thinking? I'm, I'm sealing the wrong place. We want it to be right here. <laughs> so they'll come through here. We'll drop down here. We'll put a fire pole so it'll be a slightly faster descent. Come around here. Get in their suits. Leaving lots of room for lots of suits. For future expansion. And you know what? We have to dig out below here. How much granite do I have? 570,000 granite. Yeah, we're good for granite. This is a big asteroid. So lots of materials. No risk of running out of materials anytime soon. Okay, oxygen is flowing. We're going to cut this off here. I have a dedicated line for these suits. And we're not going to seal it just yet, but soon... Uh, you know what? Let's disable this for now. I don't want them using the suits yet. We're going to get them all filled up first. Take this out. I think it's safe to go in here and grab all this. And we'll continue the uh, airflow tiles here. Let them get through. Let the air get through. Let's make sure that's all connected. Yeah. Don't want to be wasting coal. How much coal do we have? 38 tons. We're good for coal. We could be doing some sweeping. We got idle dupes. Let's do some priority one sweeps here where we just did all that digging. Clean things up a bit. Let's slow things down and check out decor. I haven't looked at decor in a while. Looks nice in here. Looks nice in the bedrooms. Uh, the bathrooms look terrible. Uh, let's put some crown molding in there. Is that under here? Uh, crown molding is... I might not even... Oh yeah, here it is. I do have it. We'll do some crown molding here. Granite, yep, and put some corners in. What just happened? I, I closed the menu. Furniture. Crown molding corners. Uh, we'll put that there. And there. We could take like a sink out and toilet out and put some statues and stuff in there, but I think I'll just go with what I have here. I am going to build a power grid at some point outside of the base, because this is not a good place to have all these wheels and stuff. We will upgrade the power grid. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this, keep putting suits on dupes here. On our researcher, yeah, that should be fine. And on farmer, should be okay. And let's keep getting suits out of here. How many... Do we have 11 dream journals now? Okay. Food is going up. That's good. We don't want to overdo it, but... Uh, don't want to underdo it. Now these hatches here, they're eating our stuff, but that's okay. These suits are slowly filling up. We need to make some more, though. So let's do that. Uh, Exosuit Forge is up here somewhere. Here. Uh, copper suit. We have a decent amount of copper. We'll make six more suits for now. How much reed fiber do we have? 151. Wow, the suit, this thing looks different. This is new. This is new, yeah. And the repair Atmo suit, I want this forever. Takes reed fiber. Good. Good, good, good. We got the farts building up in the base here. Uh, we don't have any airflow through here. Why do I have this wall here? Well, that's holding the CO2 in. <laughs> don't, don't delete that. I need that. The CO2 is trapped here, which is good and bad. Hmm. It's keeping the food fresher. 
Let's check this food in here. Oh, sterile atmosphere, stale, and refrigerated. Yeah, th that food should last long enough before it's eaten. Okay, we got oxygen coming in here. Suit should be being made. Maybe. We could get lights over these dupes uh, to make them more efficient, but I'm probably going to skip it. I was making my way up to the top. We did get to the space area. I'm not really doing anything with it now. We'll continue to strip mine this coal out of here, though. And I should deal with this hydrogen at some point. Uh, we could... kind of level this out here. In order to get a nice top layer of hydrogen and then deal with it. Maybe put some airflow here. Here. Open that up. They're all sneezing. I'm sorry, dupes. Okay, yeah, that's that looks really bad, but that's okay. That's for them to eat. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll allow some of it. You know what? Enable harvest on some of these, because the Drekos are not going to eat all that. Now, the shearing station. I want to put a shearing station in. Where is that thing? Shearing station. Is it three wide? Four wide. We need to get rid of one more, I think. Cycle 90. I feel like I'm way more farther into the series, but I guess I'm not. Cycle 90. Okay, uh, shearing station. Granite? Sure. That needs power. Not, not much power. But we'll at least start shaving these guys. And we're going to maybe get some plastic out of these guys. At least a little bit. Holy hatch eggs. Uh, we need... Um, what do I got going on in here? These are for Sweetles. I think I'll change this over to Hatches. Copy settings. Yeah, we'll get Hatches in here. Great tip about the mealwood being compatible with the Hatches. Oh, we got three hatch things here going on. This is set to auto wrangle. Should be auto wrangle at eight, but six is fine. We got the eggs. The eggs also count, so they're probably cramped right now. Yeah. And we got the mushrooms going on. Okay, back to what I was doing here. Exosuit docks. Where's the oxygen gone? It was in here. Where did it go? Weird, these meters got all reset. Hmm. How did that happen? Strange. Oh, this vent. I don't want this vent. Leaking oxygen. And uh, we're sending it down as well. Um. I guess that's okay. It's kind of backing up. So that's okay. Okay, let's build the rest of the floor here. And let's make sure if this makes sense before we block them off. Oh, I enabled it. No, I didn't enable it. So it's disabled. Okay. We need more oxygen for those suits. I think we can probably dedicate two lines to it. I'm going to just do that. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> now it's going two ways. Uh, I'm going to use some bridges here to make it a little bit more understandable. To my brain, at least. Okay, we'll do a bridge here. And this will go to the output here. So, the preference will be from this line left. So if this ever backs up... Uh, if this ever backs up, excess will go up. And that's going backwards. <laughs> okay. Uh, that didn't quite work. I thought I could get away with that. Hmm, let's try this. What was that? Someone, something? Having a disaster? I think I can do this. Output to output. I, I want to know what that alarm was. I don't want to lose any more dupes. Okay, now it's working. It's forcing the direction there, and that's all good. Yeah, as soon as you get more oxygen. Okay, let's seal this off. Hopefully there's no dupes down here. And we'll enable this thing. 
Okay, Andrew. Hmm. Okay. Are you stuck? You should be able to get through. You should be able to come back. Oh, just made it out the hole. Okay, they should be able to come through here now. And hopefully there's no other ways around. I don't think there are. Nope. Let's send a dupe down to test out the suits. There they go, there they go, there they go. Suit on. Yay, they're safe down below now. Okay. And nothing for them to do. We'll give them something to do. They can sweep up. Kind of want to get in and get this stuff out of here. This area is going to get very hot eventually. I should insulate a little room here. Uh, to do the cooling of the oxygen. Now we don't really need to cool this line anymore. In fact, we don't really need to cool most of these lines, especially if we're going to be doing mainly suits here. Future project. Okay, so uh, the next set of research. We can keep researching all this stuff, actually. The, we can get the basic research out of the way. Let's see what we got here. Paku. Actually, where are they going to go if I take them? They might go into this thing. Let's take them. <laughs> Hopefully they make it. Hopefully they can sense the water. If not, we'll have free fish food pretty soon. I'll slow right back down again here. Okay, so. Radiation. Where do I want to set up the Radbolt stuff? I want to be able to send Radbolts into this thing and not fire past it. You can do them diagonally. I might do it from above. Um... And I don't want them to go past this here. It's better to shoot them right at the top, I think. Because if they're st they're going to be standing here, so you don't want red bolts to go through them. So let's think about doing it up here, maybe. Uh, if I do it here, and then shoot red bolts directly down. I think I can put like a lead shield here. If I have any lead. Do I have any lead? Not really, no. Hmm. Well, we could just do double up some tiles here. And then <clears throat> collect the red bolts and fire them down. Red bolt generator. Yes, we want this. Red bolt. Manual rad, rad bolt generator. I forgot we had that thing. I think this requires uranium, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, uses radioactive. We might actually have some uranium. It's possible. Let's check. Uranium. We have a thousand kilograms. Okay. That might get us uh, a little ways. So we'll make a hole here. Let's speed it back up. This opened up here. They have, a, they have a way through here if I mess this up. It should be okay. Okay, there's a rad bolt thingy that goes to the floor. Rad bolt reflector. So if we shoot it straight down. Um. Yeah, so something like this. Actually, there's one that goes to the floor. I don't think I have it yet. I don't even need a reflector here, technically, but I'm going to build one. Let's get the power to this thing. So the idea here will be, let's see, Red Bull Generator, upside down. We'll shoot that into this white thing and then straight down, so the distance isn't that far. Because the Red Bolts, they, um... They lose their effectiveness as the farther they go. And we'll put some wheeze warts in here. Right here, maybe? Or right here? I think I'll put them up one. Tiles on tiles. I don't think I have three <clears throat> free um, wheeze warts, but uh, let's just see. Now that needs power. 
480 watts. Holy crap. Okay, I forgot that's so uh, power hungry. We'll do a little power thing up here, maybe. Okay, do we have any free wheeze warts? We have one. Well, that'll get the process started. And I might do a manual generator as well. But let's do a little power station here. I said I wasn't going to build any more of these. You know, we could do coal here. Uh, is that a good place for coal? Eh, it should be fine. It won't get that hot, right? It won't get that hot. Coal generator. Plus a smart battery. Are you trapped there? You're just hanging around. You're just idle. You're just taking it easy. Okay, we'll use gold. Sure. Connect these. And... Automation between these two. Might as well finish this floor off. Okay, this will get fertilized. We'll set the priority on that to... Oh, it's already six. That's good. And we'll get this power down to the floor. And we'll point this thing to the left. And then point this one straight down. And I think having three tiles here will block most of the radiation. Uh, they're going to get trapped in here, aren't they? Uh, no, they have an alternate route. Okay, the manual Red Bull generator. I might build one of those. For now, right over to the side, maybe? Let's let's check our rads here. Oh, that's pretty good. Do we want the manual generator close to these uh dupes? Manual rad bolt generator. Oh, where can we put this thing? We could put it up here. I just put the battery in the wrong place. And then we could direct it downwards. Maybe. <clears throat> or maybe we could do it diagonally. Uh, we could do it over here. No. Well, we'll just we'll go with the Wii Sports for now. We don't have that much uranium anyway, so it's a bit of a waste anyway. Okay, but this is collecting now. And it should go fire, fire, fire down into here. We don't want the dupes walking through here. Because they're going to get their head potentially blown off. So, uh, let's make sure they don't go through there. Let's get rid of these tiles. We'll leave these uh, natural th thimble reeds for now. Until they get too hot. Which is bound to happen. I'm going to trap that dupe there if I'm not careful. Okay, safely out. I only want them coming around the other side. We'll uh, open this up here. You know, sacrifice this one. No, we'll leave it. Let's give them a way down here. This will be the way in. We don't want them running in here. So we'll wall this off. Actually, it's okay if they come in here, but I just don't want them standing right here. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this one so I can build the door here. It's okay if we lose one natural thing there. Okay, so we'll put a door here. And we'll prevent them from going through this door, since they have an alternate way through here. Okay. Speaking of uh, dreams, uh, let's make sure... How are we doing here from the dream? 13. Let's get some more people in pajamas here. Our artist can go in pajamas. Rocket person can go in pajamas. We're gonna have a dream army. How's it, how hot is it in here? Oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. It'll eventually get hot in there, but uh, okay, so. Uh, let's set this smart battery so I don't waste all my coal. 
Rad bolts are being made. This is good. They can come around here. Let's make sure this door is no one allowed. Do I want to do a manual Rad bolt generator thingy? I think I'll just stick with this collector. And we could technically probably get away with two if we built another coal generator there. Another collector, uh, maybe right like here. Like that, maybe? Mm, or should we do them over here and then reflect them in? I think I'll do them here. We'll blast them down through here, and then we'll do another one here. And we'll face it to the left. Yeah, that'll work. Second coal generator. Burn that coal, baby. Make sure that's automated as well. And we'll power it up. And we'll face this to the left. And face this down. They could technically run through here. Oh, they still oh yeah, I didn't I didn't block this off. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna sacrifice this thimble read as well. It's kind of in the way. Awaiting rad bolts. Yeah, we're gonna get some pretty soon here. We definitely don't want the dupes in here too far. Uh, they're gonna get zapped here if I'm not careful. Yeah, we're getting power brownouts because I don't have enough stuff in here yet. Okay, dupes, I really don't want you standing in here, so let's make sure they can't walk over here. Don't get zapped. Build the wall and then get out of there. Oh, look what they did! They love to just Oh man, I'd love to get stuck. Okay, Jaden, you just want to like get hurt, don't you? Actually, this is safe now. They can't get through here. They're, they can't stand in here. That's all I wanted to do. Let's sweep out this crap. And we'll get some more Weez Warts later on here. Let's get some big, uh, big digs queued up here. Now that we have suits, and they should have... Oh, they're all full of oxygen. Mm, we could get down into the oil now. How do we want to do this? There's some water in the way here. I managed to leak into this thing. Um, Let's go... <clears throat> let's go over... Now, there's some chlorine here that's going to get in the way, but that's okay. And we're going to dig above here. Like that. That should be fine. We don't technically need that ladder there. Okay. I'll just leave this water in here for now. And we'll head down here. Let's stop here. We could probably contain this. So they don't let any chlorine out. Oh, I sound like I'm stuffed up, but I'm not really. Not sure what's up with that. Okay, well, let's do some sweeping here as well. Keep things tidy. I'm not sure what was going on here, but I think this is safe to put through here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they'll work on that. What's priority? Five? That's fine. That's the, kind of the default priority. Dupes and suits can do that. Keep the sweeping going. And let's see take this out. We're not using that anymore. Did we get any rad bolts fired in? I think we did. Research. Storing 25 of 100. Lovely. Uh, yeah, we're getting it done. This is good. Priority 7 on that. Lovely. We got two going on. Let's go get another wheeze wart so we can get more radiation going. There's one right here. I kind of want to get up in here. 
I think I'm gonna go over a bit and then up through the abyssalite. Oh, there's a geyser here. I think I've already looked in to see what that is. But we'll crank in here and get this weasel out of there and get all this delicious um, food that's just sitting in there waiting to be m munched on. Yeah, we'll let them work on that. Are we going full speed? We are going full speed. Sherp Coral Polyp. This is part of a mod, I think. I think? I can't remember. I think so. I don't even know what that is. Is that food or is that... Uh, what is this? Is this in the base game? The result of genetic experimentation on Wii's words. Oh, interesting. What does it do? What does this thing do? I'm going to plant one. Atmosphere. Yeah, let's plant one and see what happens. Let's plant one up here where we we're going to put a weasel wart. Pull up. What the heck? Is this new or is this a mod? I can't tell. Oh, it's not even in here. Hmm. I got some, right? Okay. The polyp of a... Oh, it's the polyp of a... Sh or coral. It comes from... I don't know. What's going on here? Uh, I think it comes from this thing. Yeah. Okay, it's the product of that thing. Hmm. Okay. Did they get up here? Uh, do they have oxygen up here? Yeah. I got this extra ladder here we don't need anymore. Get rid of that. And I kind of want to get in here. I think we'll... Should we go up through here? I only want to cut through in one place, so I think what I'll do is come through here. I didn't want this ice all leaking everywhere, that's why I'm doing it this way. Let's just go up here. So we can get this stuff, this stuff, and we'll set this all to harvest. And we will try to get over here, into here, and get up there to there. Frost Blossom. Sounds, sounds interesting. Where's a safe place to go up? Uh, these are growing, look at this, these are growing in a tile. Hm. Magic. Frost Blossom Seed. Let's go up through uh, here, maybe. Starvation. Probably due to sneezing and coughing. Sneezing and coughing. <clears throat> Are they, uh, did I do a sweep on this thing? I hope not. No. <laughs> What's the decor on that tile? Decor, minus 571. Yikes. Food. Oh, food is just going way up. Okay. Well, we'll let it fill the fridge up and the rest can rot. I don't really care too much. It's kind of a waste. We could uh, maybe get rid of some mealwood to conserve our dirt a little bit. Yeah, let's take this mealwood out. We don't need this anymore. We got lots of food coming from these things, from bristle blossoms that are getting tended and they're getting fertilizer. So they should produce a lot of food. And then the mushrooms down here. These could be tended as well. I don't know why I didn't put any sweetles in here. Let's put some sweetles down here. We'll clear some mushrooms away. And put some critter drop-offs in there. And we'll get those tended. And let's make sure there's no drop-off here. There isn't. Okay, good. I think that'll end up down here. How's our water situation here? Still nice and cool here. This is what's cooling the oxygen. It's coming in at 60 and it's coming out at 30. And it'll eventually get hot because we're, we were grabbing it out of here. We need to go in here actually. And fix this up. We're gonna put this pump, pump down here. 
and suck out the rest of that. And then move it over so it's only grabbing it from over here. We'll eventually get it up from over here. Maybe right here. We'll insulate this little area here. Give them away over there. We'll insulate all this as well. Oh, there's no place for them to get down. Okay, we'll fix we'll fix that. So we'll try to get the heat to be pushed that way until we come up with the proper cooling. Yeah, they can work on that. Get the power set up for this as well. Yeah, I only want to be taking water from here. And it won't be water, it'll be steam that'll condense, maybe, <laughs> depending on cooling. Okay, that should be okay. I don't think anyone's going to get stuck in there. It's possible they'll get their head stuck in here. They're really good at that. Well, we'll hear it. We'll get the alarm bells. <laughs> Hopefully not too late. Okay, how are we doing here? Uh, we're making our way down here. They got this little project kind of done. Oh, Kate, look at you. You're Miss Speedy. So speedy. Yeah, once this tile's built... We can uh, continue down into the oil. Let's do a dig down to here. Oh, look at that juicy oil. Mm -mm. Next episode will be all oil processing, I think. How are we doing with the dreams? This is slow going. 14 dream journals. Let's get another suit on someone. On... Uh, a farmer? Yeah, okay. And a researcher. They don't have to run around too much. And we're getting into the cold here. There is no oxygen on the way, so it's a little bit dangerous. I have to hold their breath. It could be, yeah, it could be deadly. <laughs> but there's a little pocket here they can breathe. And there's a pocket in here they can breathe. I guess we'll just keep going up here. Getting all that good stuff. I like natural growing food. There's something nice about it. What do we got here? A rust fern. Okay. How's that research coming? Slow and steady. No big rush on that. Uh, how are we doing for rad bolts? We put another weasel in here. I think we got one more dug out. Yeah, another weasel wart. Oh, I just saw one get fired down there. Now, if for some reason they get too many, it'll hit these three tiles and... Radiation blocking 56% times three. Idle dupes. What should we do? What should we do? Keep exploring if we can. We haven't. So this asteroid's so big. The big asteroid setting is just so big. Okay, now we can safely come down here. We'll get multiple digs going in here. Let's just go straight across here to see what we can see. Get into this area. It looks like some good stuff in there. And this is the way to the other asteroid. So we should probably get over there at some point. Let's build a set of ladders across here, maybe. Uh, that'll leak. And we got a cream cap mushroom. That's, that's a mod. Let's harvest those. And I am cooking those up. Cream cap mushrooms. Those are going into... Um, something. The grilled cream... <laughs> I almost said cream crap. Mmm, cream crap. No, cream cap. Uh, we get 1800 cal... It's just like a mushroom. It's just another look. 
to the mushroom. We could actually plant some of those in here, I think, depending on their growth characteristics. characteristics. Let's see. Where was that mushroom? Down here. What do they need? Oxygen, carbon dioxide, 10 to 36. I think they're the same as mushrooms. 10 to 36. 10 to... Th oh, slightly different temperature. But they'll grow in... Oh, they'll grow in O2, it said. Hmm. So they don't technically have to be in here. Oh, and what do they eat? What do these guys need to, to grow? <clears throat> Air pressure. Oh, they want darkness. Uh, and they want polluted water for domestication. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hmm. We could do a little cream cap mushroom farm somewhere, maybe. But where? They need darkness. Cream cap mushrooms. Which temperature like here? We need polluted water for that. We do have some here that we could use. Let's put a cream cap right here. Temperature... I think we could do one right here, maybe. Or somewhere around here. Maybe right here. Yeah, let's do one right here. Irrigated tile. Just want to see it growing in action here. This water is 32, it should be safe. How are they doing up here? We're at 17 of 25. And another dream journal. We don't want the whole colony in the dream journals, or they're gonna they're gonna be too slow. We have a plumber. The plumber can do it. <laughs> oh, what's this? Well, this is the um fluxomatic. This is where we can mutate critters. Oh, and... Oh, calling achievement. Um... It's getting kind of dangerous in here for them. Air pressure in here is a little suspect. Maybe we should force some air in there. Oh, this thing needs oxygen once it boots up. Forgot about that. You know, we need some... We need an oxygen line over here. Uh... What would happen to the oxygen over here? Oh, it's all backed up. Okay, this one. We could... We could take it from here. And send it down here. It makes more sense to do it closer to where it's needed. Like, uh, maybe we'll grab it from here instead. Yeah, let's see here. Um, where's a safe place to put a line here? We could go through here. Hmm. Okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna shove it through here. Do a bridge there. And we'll branch off this, this one here. Or we could just use suits up here. But I think, I think, um, <clears throat> suits aren't really necessary. So yeah, we'll just bring some air up this way. I might just dump it out here for now. Just to pressurize this area. That should be good. I think I can cut this off. Oh yeah, so this should actually... Um, hmm. I should have done this in a different way. Because <laughs> it's backing up. But that's okay. We got excess oxygen. It's not a problem. Okay, 18 of 25. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, I want to keep going up here. The abyssalite, abyssalite layer here is intact. We have a nullifier up there. Could be useful. I don't know why I built this ladder up here. <laughs> I want to get to this one without destroying this one, but I think I'll just bite the bucket. Bite the biscuit. Kick the bucket. Uh, and I don't want to destroy that one, but it would make our ladder straight. 
Uh, I should probably stop doing digs in here for now, actually, because there's no pressure in here. We need to get some pressure going on. Yeah, it's, it'll start to pressurize now. We'll do airflow here as well. Or we could extend this more. Doesn't need to stop there. Let's keep it going up here. Well, it needs to go in here anyway, so we'll chuck it in there. And we'll put a vent here. So they can breathe. Because breathing is good. Okay, that'll keep them busy. What are we doing down here? Uh, are we harvesting this? Yep. Hmm, I kind of want to get this all cleared out. This is... Oh, I, I'd given up on this area. That's why it's all melting. Uh, hmm. Can we mop it? It's all going to keep melting anyway, but we can mop it. Got some suits in here. We'll rub into these lockers. We have a lot of idle dupes. <laughs> Do I have a place for ice to go? I do. I think they're dropping it in our water pit. I hope they are. Down up here. Okay, we're going to take this out of here. I don't think we have a place for fresh water anymore. So I'm going to put one right here. So they can grab fresh water here. Oh! I was building a liquid lock. Oh yeah. Auto bottle was off. I guess it was on. I guess it's not a high priority. No, they stopped. Maybe they ran out of water. Yeah, we were building a liquid lock in here for some reason to get into here. Get all these wheeze warts and stuff. Or not wheeze warts. Um, Trichos. I'm losing my mind. Got a little fish tank here. <laughs> kind of a random fish tank. Yeah, I think ice is getting dropped in here. Yep, you can see it down there. Now I'll forget about this. And things will flood. Derivation. Oh yeah, the hospital. Someone requested a hospital. That's uh, probably a good idea. For allergies and stuff. Where should we put it? Where should we put it? Uh, I think I'll stick it down here, maybe. Or over here. Let's replace this with granite. Put the hospital by the graveyard? <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Could be funny. I think I'll stick it in here. Right here. We got a nice area. Let's dig this out. Let that CO2 fall down. Okay, so we need a door. And we need some medical stuff. Let's put some cots in there. A couple of cots. And we'll get rid of this ladder. Open this up. Missing research station. Oh, we're on to, we're trying to do the super hard research. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back up to the top here and get through this stuff. Yeah, we definitely want that CO2 to fall down and get dealt with. Okay, medical cots. Uh, we want this to be 16 wide, I think. Or is it 24? Let's check our room here. Medical clinic. Hospital. 96 tiles. Mm 
can be 24 wide. We're not gonna get 24 wide. <laughs> we'll do it, um, we'll do it to here. Be big enough for all our needs, and I can probably slip and go through here. And we're gonna need to seal this room up. We'll do okay. These this this is a dangerous ladder. <laughs> Let's get rid of that first. I think it gets stuck on the ladder. Okay, stuck on the ladder, out of reach of oxygen. That wouldn't be good. Okay, this thing needs a toilet, I think. It doesn't actually need water. Medical, medical. We'll do a, um, needs a sink, I think. Does it need a sink? Hospital. Just a toilet. And a, yeah, it just needs a toilet. Doesn't need, they don't need to wash their hands. Plumbing, lavatory. Let's put some statues in here. Um, do we have the granite block thing yet? We don't. Could do metal blocks. I'm just gonna do some large sculpting blocks here. We do need a mess table in here. Furniture, furniture, furniture. Did I scroll by it? Yeah, here it is. They're singing. Open this up. Get some nice statues in there. Get some save lag going on. Wow, oh, I'm almost out of time already. Let's get this hospital finished. Um. We'll do this slightly after. At least we'll have a room here. We got a hospital! Yay! Uh, there's some other medical stuff we could put in there. Sick bay. Um, disease clinic, eventually. Apothecary. That will need some power. But well, we got the basics. We'll make these priority nine. Just in case we get some injuries. I do want to get the apothecary some power because we want to make some curative tablets and stuff. There we go. Okay, we didn't get the dream journals set up yet. But we have oxygen going there, I think. Yeah, we got oxygen going there. We've pressurized this area. We have melt. That's not good. Things are melting. There's some ice up here melting. Let's dig this. Whoa, wrong button. <laughs> Let's go back. Dig that tile. And that should keep the water... The ice bits out of there. Yeah, should be good. 20 and 25. Next time we'll have enough to get this thing going. They've got lots of air to breathe. I think I'll open this up slightly. And let's make sure this is all harvestable. Harvested. Let's do this as well. We'll eventually get up there. Um, let's just open this up. Should I kill that one? Or should we go around? Hmm. I think I'll just kill it. <laughs> we can spare one. What are these icy shrooms for? Adorable little toadstool. That loves the cold. I don't think it's food though. But we're gonna wrap it up here. I have run out of time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.